is that time again for JAY TV. That's JTV. I'm your host with the most, J. And today's subject is Justin Bieber. What's up with Justin Bieber? He's only 15 years old. What the hell? He's like a another Justin Timberlake. And he's a, he gets really, really annoying. You know? And I don't know why Usher, because Usher is the one to scope him. So I don't know why he just scope a 15 year old kid who's not freaking 18 yet and old enough to join the military. I just don't get it. You know, and nowadays you gotta be like 15, 14, 16, 17, 18, fucking two years old just to fucking sing. That ain't right. You know? So if you feel the same way, about Justin Bieber and all the young generations that's um, getting younger and fucking getting celebs. Hit me up your comment or send a video and tell me what you people think. Alright, so this is JTV, this is Jay from Brownie signing off. What's up, what's up, what's up, Internet Land? This is Jay, and you lock on JTV, the, the, the YouTube's most popular Internet website. And this, of course, my lovely dog, Brownie. Say hi, Brownie. Yeah, he's cute. He's cute, isn't he? He's about a year old, huh? Yeah. Anyway, he's my co-host. And my guest for tonight's show, and um, well, let me just fix the camera a little bit. There we go. Here's my host for the camera show, and I want to know when if anyone seen the news where they said the, the words going in, because I seen it on CNN the other day, and they said it supposed to end last week. Which it didn't. So, my opinion is why they will lie to us. Because I hate being lied to. Just like all your people out there. I know. And I, I don't know. I'm just bored. Because my wife, she's at work. It's about 6 o'clock over here in Montana. And what you looking at? Huh? Mm -hmm. Anyway. So, I need ideas for the show. For JTV. So, tell your friends. And your friends tell your friends. And your friends tell your friends. And your friends tell your friends. And so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. And just leave the comments to make JTV a little bit better. I'm Brownie. Yeah. Anyway, so maybe if Crystal, which is my wife, she will come on the show and talk what she thinks because she's never American. And maybe, you know, I could interview her and stuff like that. Tired? Yeah, me too. My eyes lick me. So. Anyone from New York, anywhere, Asia, Europe, Iraq, stuff like that. It will get out there. And that's just rambling to myself. Anyway, and go to Missoula, Phoenix, that's M-I-S-S-O-U-L-A, Phoenix, P-H-O-E-N-I-X.com, and just support us, you know, I'm, and by the way, I'm number 35, in case you're wondering. 
I'm a linebacker. And how about it? So just hit me up at jhawkman81. And this is JTV. I'm jhawkman81, your host with the most, of course. And from behalf of me and Brownie, stay locked. Welcome, welcome back to JTV. I'm your host, Jay. As you can see, I'm in um, Montana, my, not my home state, but I'm from New York. And there's few things that I want to talk about, you know, that's on my mind. Um, there's few topics, so you people just bear with me. Um, for, for one topic, subject, is movies. I want to know, people out there, what is you guys, old girls, favorite movies? Like me, one of my favorite movies is Thor, which it was pretty good. The graphics was pretty tight. And um, I like how they did it with the guy who played Thor. That was kind of cool, too. And the, the most recent movie I've seen was Pirates of the Caribbean before. And it was alright, but they didn't have the same people like Penelope Cruz. She did okay part, but I like the one the girl who played Elizabeth. Elizabeth Swan, if y'all remember her. In in the first three, I believe. And um the way it ended where the if the people didn't see it, it's about the it's about the fountain of youth. And Jack has to go find the fountain of youth. It's basically, I'm not gonna tell you the whole movie. And um, the one and my other subject is I could talk about the NBA playoffs. I can say I'm from New York. I'm a big New York fan. And my next got eliminated in the first round, which, well, kind of made me, not made me sad, but kind of made me pissed off because the way they played. And they had all defense, and even though they had Kamel Anthony, still didn't do anything. That's what gets me. Okay, that's what gets me really upset. And But I think the Heat, all the Bulls, Personally, I think the Bulls will take it this year because, you know, they have a lot of motivation because they have Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman. I think if they win, they have my respect. So that's what my favorites might take it this year. And in wrestling, if the wrestling fans out there, um, tell me what you think of Extreme Bulls. Just yesterday on Sunday, um, my favorite is Triple H. Just let me know who, who your guy's favorite. And like I said, we just lost a legend just three days ago, which is Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, he will be missed, definitely, definitely will be missed. And I want, and I want to talk about friends. Why is a Friends always stab you in the back when you least expect it. I don't get that. And then when they, I don't know, when they, um, when they, met, when they think you're your best friend and you know your good friend, they got your back. But when it comes down to it, they don't got your back. Why is that? So send me your comments to that to JTV. I am Jayhawk Man. 81. So it comes to me and let me know what you think or you could send a video. And my last subject is sweethearts or exes. What is it you're trying to get with a girl or a guy you know for like almost your entire life 
like junior high to high school and try and you fell in love with her but once you're with another girl that girl or guy wants you back like once again send me your comments and tell me what you think or your videos and that's that's enough half time for JTV and I'll be back for more subjects and more conversation. So the JTV signing out. How you doing out there? Um I just found out about Macho Man, Randy Savage, and I was really heartbroken because I actually grew up with the grew up watching him and um my condolences and my prayers go out to the family and whoever grew up watching Macho Man all the fans of my generation will miss him dearly and um, especially all his fellow West wrestlers like Hulk Hogan his wife um There's not much to say. In my book, he's a Hall of Famer. No matter what people say, he had great matches. And I'm just speechless what, what happened to him. So, that's enough said. Macho Man, hope, hope you're in a better place. And rest in peace. This is uh, JTV. I'm making it back live from uh, Walmart in Missoula. And uh, today's Black Friday, and uh, Crystal's right now inside. And I'm about to bring you live to see how it is on Black Friday, which is really hectic as hell. And right now it's about 2.45. JTV. It's, it's a black front. Oh uh, well. It's a black Friday edition. I got a lot of imagination, so. <laughs> That's the whole point. Try, try to cast a rush and put it on the internet. Black Friday edition. 